welcome to educational channel so algebraic identities so in this topic i'll explain what is identity and how to solve the problems using this algebraic identities and what are the formulas we'll apply and which are the laws we'll apply for this solving these problems and including some other information also including example sums and solve sums also i'll explain you okay this is a complete chapter i'll explain briefly one by one so before going that and in this topic if you want test papers and other syllabus uh, i mean other subject along with that other chapters also the material is available in this uh, website i'm showing here so i'm providing this link in description below also so this is a website so it's a completely educational website is for free and you can verify this and chapter wise topic wise subject wise other model papers syllabus uh, and information is also available subject wise also you can see everything and subscribe the channel because it will upload only videos which are related to the education, especially for children. Okay, let us uh, begin this. Algebraic identities. So after algebraic expressions, we need to know the perfectly this topic, algebraic identities. So previous algebraic expressions, you must know first. Then we'll see about identity. So what is identity? So identity is nothing but it's a general formula, okay, which always holds some true irrespective of the value of the variables involved is called an identity. So we have uh, four important formulas. First, I'll explain you. So for that, we'll use the distributive law. So in earlier classes, you already studied the distributive law and all. Then we'll see what is identity and what are the formulas also we'll apply in this. Now, when you come to the distributive law, actually it says distributive law A into B plus C. Now this we can distribute to B and C, the A value. So you can write A into B plus A into C. So that is distributing A to B and A to C will multiply. So AB is equal to AC. Similarly, A plus B into C. So A plus B is a expression multiplying with C. We can write AC plus BC. Okay. These two are distributed law left and left and right so we will apply in this algebraic identities to find out the product of the formulas okay let us uh, i'll show you one by one first four formulas then we'll go through the example problems now when you come to identity formulas x plus a into x plus b so in the place of a and b any numbers will come in examples so x plus a into x plus b is equal to dash so first we will simplify this now according to a uh, distributive law so each and everything you have to distribute that means x plus a total first expression will multiply with first term of the second expression plus again total first expression that is x plus a will multiply with the second term of the second expression each and every term you need to multiply that is splitting now individually multiply x into x x square plus a into x is ax so these both you multiplied so already you studied previous x into x and a into x that is x square and ax again x into b so xb plus a into b is ab right we need to simplify this x square and middle two terms x is a common so a plus b into x from middle two terms plus a into b so finally x plus a into x plus b so we can write it as x square plus a plus b into x plus a into b okay this is the first identity we will apply just if you remember such type, this type of identities is very easy to solve the problems also. The first one. Now let us see the one more. Same x plus a into x plus b, but sign will be changed. Now let's see one more. The second one. That is x plus a as it is, but second expression is negative sign x minus b. x plus a into x minus b. Now this value, first we will uh, split it. That means 
So take the first term on the first expression. Like this also you can make it x into complete second expression plus a into x minus b. Okay, here in first expression, second expression, two expressions, take the first term and multiply this complete uh, second expression. Again, take the second term, again multiply complete. So this is the way you can do algebraic expressions, so multiplications already studied previous. So I am applying this for finding the formula. That is x square minus x into b is xb or bx plus a into x is ax minus a into b is ab. Now to simplify this x square okay after plus I want to take one common here. If I want to take x common here is plus a and minus b. So you are writing in order a minus b minus a into b. So this is the x plus a into x minus b for identity formula. So that is we can conclude like this. So x plus a into x minus b. So negative uh, sign in between. So that is x square plus a minus b into x and that is minus ab. Okay. This is the second uh, identity can remember. Next I will show you how to use this uh, formula 1 and formula 2 in problems. The first one now and second. Then you see third and fourth. Same. First now second x term middle sign we change, right? Now if you observe this third one. So here I am taking x minus a. First one x minus a and second is x plus b. First we took both positive middle. Next second time first is positive, second negative. Now first is negative, second is a positive. Okay, middle only sign I am changing. Let us are same. Now we have minus and next is plus. Now when we simplify this, take the first term, multiply complete second expression, distributing minus a into x plus b. Okay, now simplify this. x into x, x square, x into b is xb or bx minus this is ax plus into minus minus oh sorry a into b is ab so that is a into b is ab <coughs> yeah now try to simplify middle two terms so x is square plus i want to take common in between that is b minus a x is common from middle two terms minus ab now this is the third formula we can write like this therefore x minus a into x plus b so is equals to x square plus b minus a x minus a b so it's a fourth so alternate also you can write in the place of a minus b minus a if i write a minus b you can keep the negative sign in front and that will say you can make it and fourth one both negative you take that is x minus a into x minus b so x is same and in the place of a b numbers you can take now when you apply the distributor for this so x into x minus b again minus a into same x minus b Okay, try to simplify this. Now x into x, x square minus b into x is bx. Now second term. This a into x is ax minus into minus plus a into b is ab. Fine. You simplify now. Middle two terms I need to take common minus. If you take minus common completely minus of x, middle will get a plus b. Because minus also to common. So minus b becomes plus b and minus a becomes plus a. Plus a b. This is the one. Therefore we can write this as together if you make. So x minus a into x minus b is equals to x square minus a plus b into x 
plus a b right these are so these are the four you need to remember to solve the problems okay these are the four so first fourth and above is third and when you come to a second and followed by one so these are the four identities so i'm writing all together once to get clear idea <coughs> now see observe here first one is x plus a into x plus b so need not to remember everything is proof but you must know how the problem also how the formula came so just remember that formula it is so when is both are positive x square plus a plus b into x plus a into b so constant will multiply and second one already proved that is x plus a next is negative that is x minus b so this small change x square plus a minus b of x minus a b it is okay. and third fourth so x minus a and x plus b first is negative second is positive here middle now this is x square plus in the place of a minus b it's a b minus a a small change minus a b now when both are positive or negative in middle so x minus a into x minus b that is x square minus of a plus b x plus a b because minus to minus plus will come finally okay these are the identities the main important identities you need to remember so then we'll I'll explain you the four problems using these four how to solve the problems first i'll explain then you'll go for remaining formulas also so using the product of sum and difference so other formulas are there which are related to this algebraic identities also i'll explain now if you remember able to remember this then we'll solve the numerical sums so how the questions will come so using based on this identity which identity we need to apply and how to solve so i'll explain you now So problems on algebraic identities. So how the questions will come from this algebraic identities? How to solve them using the identities which I explained previous. So I'll explain you now. Now, for example, find the product of x plus two into x plus five. This is asked. So find the product. So find the product of x plus 2 into x plus 5. So this is an expression and it is one more expression. Now to solve this, you can see here. So which identity we applied that if you observe. Now question is x plus 2 into x plus 5 is equal to dash. So when you observe this identity about this x plus a into x plus b. So that is, is equals to x square plus a plus b into x plus a into b. So here in the place of a, b, 2 and 5 are given. Okay, in the place of a and b. So a is equals to 2 now and b is equals to so 5 if you observe. Then we can write x square plus in the bracket a plus b. That is 2 and 5. Okay, 2 plus 5 x plus a into b that is 2 into 5 okay this we need to simplify to get the answer so x is square plus 7 x plus 2 5 is a 10 that's it so this is only answer this identity you need to remember so I need to only just remember we solve the previous so any questions are given which are related to these four identities if you observe one more like x minus 3 into find the product of x minus 3 into x plus 7 so when you are applying the identity about this that is identity once you write x minus a 
into x plus b. So that is x square. So we have seen previous. So x minus a into x plus b. This is x square plus b minus a. x minus a, a into b. Okay, this identity only apply here. That is x square. So turn to color. X square plus b minus a. So b is seven, a is three. Okay, then seven minus three. X minus a into b. So that is three into seven or seven into three. Both are same, right? If we simplify, x square plus seven minus three is a four x. Minus three seven is a twenty one. So this much. So using the identity, we can solve like this. And apart from this, are given also. We can see once if any fractions type are given. Let me explain one problem related to the fraction type. For example, find the product of t by two plus six into t by two minus three. So if you can remember the uh, identity is okay. Otherwise, in case if you cannot remember also, we can solve by using this uh, distributive law. Okay, I'll explain that type also once. So using distributive law, how to solve this? That is, first term is t by two. We'll multiply complete second expression. That is t divided by two minus three. Okay, again plus six. This is the second term in first expression. And multiply complete second expression t by two minus three. Fine. Now these both we need to simplify. Now here this into this that is uh, t square by two to the four each and every term minus again t by two into three that is three t by two. Okay, multiply first. Okay, got the concept right. First one just to multiply these two together. This into this. Again, this into this, multiply. Now six into t by two, so that is six t by two. This into this. Again, six into minus three is minus eighteen. Now try to simplify the problem to get the final answer. So I can cancel two ones are two three zero. After cancellation, remaining is t square by four minus three t by two plus three t. By one, nothing means minus eighteen. Now like terms we need to simplify. So when you multiply, uh, simplify the like terms, that is. So here if you simplify, t square by four. So take common here. So if you take minus t common, three by two minus three by one because minus t to common. Minus 18. Just to do LCM inside. That is t square by 4 minus t in the bracket. If you do LCM, 2, 3 minus 1 into table 2 times 2, 3 is 6. Okay, all you know it. Then simplify. So t square by 4 minus 3 minus 6 is minus 3. So minus 3 in t into minus 3 by 2. Minus 18. Now finally, t square by 4 minus to minus uh, plus 3t by 2 minus 18. Okay, this is the final answer. So we can solve anything. If unable to remember also, just use the distributive law to simplify this. Okay, let's uh, see one more sum. So if you observe, in case before x value also you have the coefficients. I'll okay find find the product. Product of so question is 2x plus 3y into 5x plus 4y. Now, when you are asking like this, use the distributive law to simplify this. Now, solution 
2 x is the first term in the first expression take that and multiply the total second expression 5 x plus 4 y now plus 3 y is the second term in the first expression and write full first expression uh, second expression as this 5 x plus 4 y now I already learn in uh, algebraic expressions multiplications single term monomial to polynomial now we can 2x into 5x is 2 5 is a 10 x square 2 4 is a 8xy with first both again 3y into 5x 3 5 is a 15xy plus 3 4 is a 12y square okay like this each and every term you should multiply this is the first to first and first to second now like terms you simplify 10x square plus 8xy plus 15xy so that is 23 xy plus 12 y square is left okay in this way we can solve the problems which are given by using this property and when are given three terms also same method first two terms will simplify with the answer will multiply the simplify the last one okay. and let me show you when one sum when you're asking three expressions product Okay, I write the question here. Find the product of uh, 7x plus 3 into 2x plus 5 again into 3x minus 4. Okay, here 7x plus 3, 2x plus 5, 3x minus 4. 3 we need to multiply, 3 expressions. So, first 2 we will solve. Okay, when the first two will solve as this first of all, then after getting answer, we will multiply the third expression. Now 7x into 2x plus 5, again plus 3 into 2x plus 5. So up to here is one bracket. For this, you need to multiply 3x minus 4 is afterwards. Now when you simplify this, 7 to the 14x square plus then 5 is a 35x and 3 to the 6x plus 3 5 is a 15. Okay, this is one bracket, one expression into 3x minus 4. Now to simplify this, 14x square 35 plus x is a 41. 8 x plus 15. Now this total expression, three terms are here. We need to multiply it 3x minus 4 now. Now just simplify again. So after getting, see here, 14x square is the first term in first expression. Take that and 3x minus 4 completely. Again plus 41x is the second term, full 3x minus 4. Plus again 15 is the third term in first expression into 3x minus 4. That's it. Now everything you need to simplify to get the final answer. Now if you simplify 14x square into 3, that is 14, 3 is a 42x cube minus 14 into 4. So again if you simplify, finally you can do like terms also simplify. 56x square plus 41 into 3. 3 12 x square minus 41 into 4 4 4 4 16 okay x plus 15 3 is a 45 x minus 15 4 the 16 now like terms all you simplify here x cube term is only 1 therefore final answer is 42 x cube and x square terms are these both minus 56 plus 123 so that is a uh, plus 67 right x square now these two are the x terms minus 164 plus 45 that is minus 119 x minus 60 is a constant that's it so in this way whenever they are given three expressions multiply first two then if that's answer you just multiply the third expressions Okay, in this way you can solve any problems are given 
by using the identities as well as using this distributive law we can explain and how to solve the problems which having some formula based okay product of sum and difference of two terms okay apart each and every problem in order to ask is some questions they will give by using some other formulas also so how to use that using other formulas also i'll explain now product of sum and difference of two terms so what is this and how to apply this formula in the problems also i'll explain so two terms so let me take a is a term and b is another term there are two terms product of sum and difference sum means addition so plus and same difference so other two terms a minus b one is positive one is addition one is subtraction so sum and difference of the product that is a plus b into a minus b is dash so such type of problems also will come in examination point of view So a plus b into a minus b is what? So first of all, we'll solve using this distributive law. Then we'll find out the identity of this uh, using product of sum and difference of two terms. Okay, when you apply, first is a multiply full second expression that is a minus b plus second term in first expression and multiply it a minus b. So all we discussed previous. Now if you simplify. A into A is uh, A square minus A into B is A B. So that is so uh, like this. First term multiply the both ones. That is A into A A square again A into B is A B. So minus A B. Similarly B into A again B into minus B. We need to write. So that is plus B into A is B A minus B into B is a B square. Now, a square minus a b plus b a or a b both are same. A into b or b into a minus b square. So minus a b plus a b can cancel here. After cancellation, we got a square minus last term is b square. Okay, this is the formula now. So we can conclude this as identity a plus b. Into a minus b, so is equals to a square minus b square. For any two terms, the product of sum and difference will come the square of the first term minus square of the second term. So in that way, you can remember this. So this is a formula how to apply in the given problems. So let me explain now. So apply the same thing. Now, for example, find the product. Okay. Find the product of. So I am taking two questions like seven x plus three y into seven x minus three y is one problem, and one numerical sum. Okay, first let me solve this. So when you observe here, product uh, sum and difference. So once you take positive, once you take negative. That is 7x plus 3y into again 7x minus 3y. So need not to apply again distributive law because the two terms with plus and minus separate sign. So if you apply this formula, that is a plus b into a minus b is equals to what we got a square minus b square. Okay, so this formula you need to apply. So you remember this. That means first term square minus second term square. So here seven x is first, three y is second. Same seven x and three y. So that we can write seven x overall square because not only seven x is square, seven x whole square minus three y is the second term. So apply the bracket because there are two numbers, number and uh, numerical value and literal variable also is there. So apply the whole square. Then try to solve this. That is a 7x whole square. Means 7x into 7x. So 7 square is 49. X square is x square only. Minus 3y overall square. So 3 square is 9 because 3 3 is a 9. And y square. That's it. So 4x square minus 9y square. So need not to expand with third distributive law. 
and again to solve so we can apply directly like this and so this is only unit uh, formula applying in the everything let me explain with one fractional problem also similar find the product of 3 by 5 p plus 1 by 3 into same terms that is 3 by 5 p minus 1 by 3 value of this is dash so I'm not writing identity already got the identity now so directly what you can write 3 by 5 p first term whole square and minus second term is 1 by 3 the term whole square that's it now each and every letter in this whole square you need to do squaring that is 3 square is 9 by 5 square is 25 and p square is b square minus here 1 square is 1 3 square is 9 so for everything you need to apply this is only the solution for that and let's see one sum of uh, decimals so find the product of there is 1.2 m plus 0.2 n 1.2 m into 0.2 n again 1.2 m minus 0.2 n fine so try to solve this so what you can write when you apply the identity so identity or the formula is a plus b into a minus b that was a minus b into a plus b also same so that is a square minus b square so according to this identity so we can write 1.2 m whole square minus 0.2 n whole square so 1.2 into 1.2 that we can multiply so 1.2 into 1.2 because whole square is there that is 2 to the 4 2 1 so after 144 then we need to keep the point at here because after point 1 1 2 decimals you need to leave that is 1.44 m square minus 0 0.2 whole square so 0 0.2 whole square is 0 0.04 because 2 to the 4 but we need 2 decimals up to point so n square okay. already you are well known about this decimals conversion to the squaring okay. so this way we can solve now whenever they are asking about uh, 3 to, uh, three expressions combined also let me explain you on some so if you observe here x plus 2 so find the continued product so when you give more than two expressions you will see continued product of this find the continued product of now question is uh, x plus 2 into x minus 2 into x square plus 4 so if you observe the first two first two expressions x plus 2 into x minus 2 so that is identity that is x square minus 2 square right and third expression asked is right x square plus 4 now simplify this x square minus 2 square is 4 in the bracket again last one is x square plus 4 so if you observe second time also you should apply the same formula now same formula that is a minus b into a plus b because two terms are same so according to identity that is a square minus b square okay this identity will apply so when you apply this same identity we can write okay see here there is x square minus 4 x square plus 4 so first term is x square for that square whole square minus second term is 4 square okay, x square whole square is x to the power 
4 minus 4 square is 16. That's it. So this is the way we can solve. So any problem is given, we need to verify. First understand that the product of sum and difference of two terms formula is applicable or not. So once it's able to do, then directly we can apply. And using the same identity, we need to solve some numbers also. So in examination point of view, they ask questions like this. For example, use the identity. Okay, this also is now. Use the identity. So which identity that is a plus b into a minus b is equals to a square minus b square. Using the same identity only, just to evaluate or solve. So when you take evaluation, so evaluate thirty four into twenty six. So thirty four into twenty six value you need to find out. Actually thirty four into twenty six you can do normally, like normal multiplication, but using identity. That means first to 34 I should write product uh, sum of two numbers same difference of numbers should come 26 now to make if you observe 34 30 plus 4 and check 30 minus 4 is 26 or not yes 30 minus 4 also 26 it should be matched exactly okay first number should be equal to 30 plus 4 second number should be equal to 30 minus 4 again let us also must be same means first term and second term should be same as it is in the second expression also then if you apply identity this is already given a square minus b square that is 30 square minus 4 square so 30 square is 900 minus 4 square is 16 so 900 minus 16 you just uh, subtract 884 okay like this and when they're asking about the same identity in the fractions also so let me give one one more question and they are given fractions. So, for example, multiply 6, 2 by 3 into 5, 1 by 3 is dash. So, how to split this 6 plus something and 6 minus something because 6 is a big number. So, check it now. 6 plus 2 by 3 is 6, 2 by 3 mixed fraction. And 6 minus 2 by 3 is 5, 1 by 3 only. Exactly will come. So similar, which is uh, able to solve type of questions only, they'll give. So you can apply the identity. That is a square minus b square. So that is 6 square minus 2 by 3 whole square. Now if you simplify, 6 square is 36 and minus 2 by 3 whole square is 4 by 9. Okay, solve this. If you simplify, 9 is LCM. 36 into 9 minus 4 so 36 is 9 multiply and subtract 4 that is 324 minus 4 so 320 right by 9 we convert into mixed fraction that is 35 5 by 9 so converting into mixed fraction only because the question is given mixed fractions so this way we can simplify it easily and which is a given and which is not able to do also we can make it by converting into mixed fraction into improper fractions so let's see one question here by converting that means question is asked 6 4 by 5 into 9 1 by 5 now directly you can't solve this if you convert into so now first of all convert into the mixed fraction into improper that is 5 6 is 30 34 by 5 into 5 9 is 45 46 by 5 now observe 34 and 46 okay that is 1 by 25 denominator side take I took separately numerators are 34 into 46 now 34 into 46 1 by 25 as it is here apply 34 into 46 that is 40 minus 6, 40 plus 6. Okay, only for this top values. 34 is 40 minus 6. That 46 is 40 plus 6. So if you apply 1 by 25, 
so 40 square minus 6 square bracket so that is writing here so 1 by 25 in the bracket 40 square 1600 6 square is 36 so subtract 1 by 25 600 minus 36 this is 1564 right 1564 so finally that is 1564 by 25 if you convert into mixed fraction 62 14 by 25 so do division you can convert into a uh, mixed fraction this way in case if it's not possible to solve just to, uh, convert into improper fraction then understand you can get clearly the about idea so what are you need to use okay and these are the a plus b into a minus b so only a square minus b square identity only applied this identity okay not only this some more identities are there so that is a squares of binomials so how to apply the squares of binomials also i'll explain you formulas of squares of binomials that is expansions then i'll explain you how to solve the problems also in the squares of binomials now squares of binomial so in expansions so squares of binomial so there are important formulas so how to solve the problems using these formulas also i'll explain you now so actually we need not to by heart any formula for example one square of binomial so a plus b is a binomial so square of this a plus b whole square formula so actually a plus b whole square means a plus b i need to multiply with again a plus b okay 3 square means 3 into 3 right so if it is a 3 square we can write 3 into 3 so x square is uh, x into x similarly a plus b whole square is a plus b into a plus b now if you simplify this we will get the formula for a plus b whole square now according to the distributive law if you apply we will take a and multiply complete second expression a plus b plus again second term in the first expression is b when multiply with a plus b now simplify this so a into a is a square plus a into b is a b okay again plus b into a is b a plus b square now a square plus a b plus b into a or a into b both are same plus b square so simplify the like terms a square plus a b plus a b is a 2 a b plus b square right so we can write this as now a plus the whole square so a plus b whole square is equals to a square plus 2 a b 2 a b plus b square so this is a formula will use the uh, square of the binomial so need not to uh, remember each and everything but the formula you can remember but should not by heart this just to know the method how to solve how to find the formula also in case you forget also within two three steps we will find out it so this is a plus b whole square now if you see a minus b whole square what it is okay a minus b whole square okay previous it is uh, a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square right now a minus b whole square so what we should do a minus b i need to multiply two times because whole square a minus b now using the distributive law take a multiply the full second expression that is a minus b minus b is the second term again multiply with a minus b Okay, try to solve and simplify this a square minus a b this is b into a is b a minus to minus plus b into b is b square okay like this multiplied now simplify this a square minus minus a b minus b or a b same this also so minus 2 a b okay plus b square now we can write a minus b whole square is a formula like this that is a minus b whole square is equals to a square minus 2ab plus b square 
so using these formulas also we can make again different different other formulas so there are around so some 10 uh, 9 to 10 important formulas are there each and everything I'll write so need not to uh, simplify in this method just try to remember the formula in case if you did not find out just to do using the distributed law you can find out so I'm not uh, verifying each and everything first I'll write all the list of formulas you just try to remember and if you need the proof also I said one website right this is one so in this you can go through then you can find out the formulas also now when you see this here one by one so one by one if you see the formula so first one already we found that a plus b whole square and this is a minus b whole square so let me write all this 9 or 10 formulas you just have idea same formulas you need to apply in the problems also when you are solving now that is uh, first one is a plus b whole square so that formula is here a square plus 2ab plus b square a square plus 2ab plus b square and a minus b whole square is a square minus 2ab plus b square so just note down all and need to try to remember otherwise just to use the distributed law to find out the remaining formulas also but I'll write all the list of formulas once then from using this sabo 2 we can write a square plus b square formula so a square plus b square is equals to a plus b whole square a plus b whole square minus 2ab ok from the above 2 only we can make this also otherwise from the second formula again a square plus b square from RHS of the second formula you can write this right a minus b whole square plus 2ab so each and every formula I am not uh, giving the uh, proof also just you can do the proof also in this website I am showing I will write all the list of formulas once you get clear idea about that and we can make other two a into b is equals to 1 by 4th of so the formula is nothing but not only LHS to RHS RHS to LHS also we can make it as formula so 1 by 4th of this a plus b whole square minus a minus b whole square you will get you will get the answer is a into b ok you can take the RHS and simplify automatically you will get that uh, result and a square plus b square and another one also 1 by 2 means half of the a plus b whole square a plus b whole square plus a minus b whole square so a plus b whole square formula and a minus b whole square formula you simplify and make it half you will get a square plus b square so you can solve this also similarly we can write a plus b whole square formula one more that is a plus b whole square not only the first one we can make it as like a minus b whole square from a minus b whole square formula just uh, add plus 4ab then that is automatically equal to a plus b whole square ok and last two also we can apply in the problems that is a plus 1 by a whole square a plus 1 by a whole square and one more is a minus 1 by a whole square so these both are easy to remember a plus 1 by a same a plus b whole square formula only but after expanding if there will be some cancellations then finally you will get this as uh, a square plus 1 by a square is a plus 2 because 2ab no so a and a cancel so here this for this a square same plus 1 by a square minus 2 it's a minus 2ab plus 2ab right in the original formula so you can get this so these formulas if you try to remember and no need to buy hard also just to understand the method how to find the formula and how to expand using this distributed law so try to remember this uh, nine formulas and previous which i gave identity also
So these all will you apply the problems. So when the numerical sums are given to expand using these identities, we'll do one by one. So I'll solve the problems now one by one using these formulas. We'll see how to apply each and every formula. Which formula you need to apply also, I'll explain now. So let us solve some problems on square of binomial. So using the previous formulas, which I explained previous, that formulas only will apply to solve the problems. Okay, for example, the question is asked, expand 5x plus 4y. 5x plus 4y whole square. So which identity or which formula we need to apply for this? So that is the binomial square. Now if you take uh, so a plus b whole square formula that is a square plus b square plus 2ab okay we can write a square plus so 2ab plus b square also everything is same now a plus b whole square is equals to a square plus b square plus 2ab now when you take this problem 5x plus 4y whole square so if you observe 5x plus 4y whole square so in the place of a is 5x in the place of b is 4x so that is a 5x square so when you're getting two numbers keep the bracket plus b square so b is a 4y right whole square plus 2ab so 2 into a value is a 5x and b value is 4y okay so this is the A and it is the B that way. Now let's solve this uh, or simplify this one. You'll get the answer. That is 5x whole square. So 5 square is 25 and x square plus 4 square is 16 and y square plus and 2 into 5x into 4x, 4y. So 2 5 is a 10, 10 4 is a 40. Overall number is 40. x and y is xy. That's it. So 25x square plus 16y square plus 40xy. We can write like this. So not only a plus b whole square, any formula is given according to that you'll apply. Now let's expand one question is so 3x minus 7y. 3x minus 7y whole square is dash. So according to the formula, that is identity is a minus b whole square, right? So a minus b whole square is a square plus b square minus 2ab minus 2ab. Now using this 3x is a. It is first term and second term middle minus. So 3x square plus 7y whole square minus 2 into a into b so a value is a 3x and b value is 7y now simplify this you'll get the solution for this problem okay when you apply that is 9x square because 3x whole square right plus 7 square is a 49y square now simplify this 2 3 is a 6 and 6 into 7 so if you simplify directly this 42 42 xy x into y is only answer so we can solve this and same identities will solve for expansions some special expansions are asked to solve the problems like numbers for example using identity only need to find the value of 1006 whole square so when you ask the problems like this 1006 whole square value so this you should write round figure that is 1000 near to this plus 6 whole square now same a plus b whole square formula so a is a thousand b is 6 now when we apply so 1000 square plus 6 square plus 2 a b so 2 into 1000 so that i'm writing into 6 now apply 1000 whole square is after one six zeros 1, 2, 3, square, no? again 3, plus 6 square is 36, 
plus 2 into 1000 into 6. 6 to the 12 into 1000 is 12,000. Just add everything. That is uh, 1, 0, 1, 2, 0, 3, 6. Just added 3 numbers. That is 10 lakhs. So this originally is uh, 10 lakhs plus 36 plus 12,000. So 10 lakhs, 12,000, 36. This is nothing but 1,006 whole square value. So we can solve. Some not only plus, you can use the minus also. If they asked 497 whole square. So you see the round figure near to the which of uh, a square number that is 500 minus how much subtraction 3 whole square okay 500 minus 3 whole square now apply the formula for this so in this way you can solve this easily so any problem is given using identities so we will try to solve each and everything and one more problem i'll explain you so important so using the same identities so question is if x plus 1 by x x plus 1 by x is equal to 3 find the value of find the value of x minus 1 by x x minus 1 by x value is dash and x square plus 1 by x square x power 4 1 so we need to find out using this values dash first now when you come to the solution x plus 1 by x is equal to 3 there is a given value okay it is uh, x plus 1 by x is equal to 3 is given so apply squaring on both sides that is x plus 1 by x whole square is equal to 3 square. So x plus 1 by x whole square. That is a plus 1 by a whole square formula. That is x square plus 1 by x square plus 2 is equal to 3 square is 9. Just I am applying the identities. Then we can write. But we need some negative right here. x minus 1 by x value we need. So we need negative. That means what we should do? We need to apply some x minus 1 by x whole square formula required. So you need to subtract 4 both sides. So why you need to only 4 you will understand here now. x square plus 1 by x square plus 2 is equals to 9 is given. You already got. Now minus 4, minus 4 you do both sides. Because you will see a next step. So this is x square plus 1 by x square. 2 minus 4 is minus 2 and 9 minus 4 is 5. Now this is the formula of x minus 1 by x whole square. Explain all the previous identities is 5. Now do square root on both sides. So if you apply square root on both sides for this, so you will get x minus 1 by x whole square is equals to 5. So do square root on both sides, square and root cancel, then x minus 1 by x value is plus or minus root 5, that's it. So that only asked, x minus 1 by x value is dash. So this way you can solve any problem. And if you ask x square plus 1 by x square means you can find out. So using this step, x square plus 1 by x square is equals to 9 minus 2. 2 if you take this side, 7 will come. So, in case you ask x square plus 1 by x square, also you can find out. Okay, it's very simple. So, according to the identity, we need to apply to solve the problems. And perfect square trinomial. So, which trinomial will you make it as a perfect square? So, also I'll explain now. Perfect square trinomial so which trinomial is in perfect square condition so already we know that a square plus b square plus 2ab a square plus b square plus 2ab is equals to a plus b whole square right 
so this is a perfect square now a plus b whole square and similarly a square plus b square minus 2ab and this also I can write a minus b whole square right so therefore every algebraic expression any trinomial of the form a square plus b square plus 2ab so either this form or this format is there then it's called a perfect square trinomial so any algebraic expression either a square plus b square plus 2ab format or a square plus b square minus 2ab format is there then we can say they are the perfect uh, square trinomial so i have one example i'll show you here express is a trinomial or not that is uh, cosinus 4a square plus 9 by 25 minus 12 by 5a so express this is a perfect square or not 4a square plus 9 by 25 minus 12 by 5a now you minus is now so you'll see second formula this one 4a square so i can write this as 2a whole square right so a square plus 9 by 25 so 9 by 25 is a 3 by 5 whole square so uh, see the format now a square plus b square minus 2ab i should make so this should be equal to minus 2ab if it is same then there is a perfect square a binomial uh, trinomial now minus 2 into first term is 2a into second term is 3 by 5 so check whether you're able to write or not 2 into 2 is 4 4 3 is a 12 yes 12 is there by 5a that's it so we can write so 2 into 2a into 3 by 5 therefore this we can conclude this a minus b whole square that means in the place of a is 2a minus in the place of b is 3 by 5 so whole square so given trinomial i can i am writing here a perfect square so 2a minus 3 by 5 whole square so indirectly we can conclude that any trinomial whether you are able to write in the format a square plus b square minus 2ab or a square plus b square plus 2ab if you can write so then that is called a perfect square trinomial okay this is a simple thing so anything is given you are able to write or not you can check first not only minus plus also if it is plus plus will come then there is a perfect square trinomial so any other example also is easy now not only these uh, type of only questions some other information also i already said starting so in this uh, website you can find out the information which is completely free you can download the papers and you can go through and subscribe the channel in case you did not do because you upload only videos which are related to the education especially useful for children